Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 21 and 22 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, come on, damn it. <laughs> uh, do I have it all? Yes, okay. Give me my micro arch. <laughs> Can we just still talk about the fact that Maida is going to become an exorcist? Like, that's still freaking me out, and I never would have fucking thought. Mm-hmm. You got ish. That's the big one? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you should wear a mask. Oh, I probably would have gotten you up in again today, but it's kind of a little too close, so maybe it's 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So in about like two weeks from now, two and a half weeks, maybe I get a new open. Maybe. Oh no. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you get on my guy stuck on your teeth. I'm so proud of these two still, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, because see, they're more into the Twin Star Exorcist rather than Mida. Of course. Oh, 
Can we also talk about the fact that this has happened around from episode 15 to now, but, like, even after last week, the connection between these two is even greater than it was before. It's possible that she wants to, but possibly with Volcano. Because <laughs> the chemistry between those two is obvious. But, I mean, the chemistry between Benny O and Volcano, it's up there. And it's hell obvious just as much. <laughs> Because, you know, you guys are... Oh. oh okay. I also hate when you eat my connect and like there's always that one flavor that oh my god that is like giving me sour moments. Mm. Well, it's not even sour though. No. <laughs> it's really been two years. Damn. Yeah, I mean, okay, because you look just a little more baba boom. You look good. <laughs> Benny. No. He's a man. Boy man, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, he's just more responsible now. <laughs> Is that all huggy? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I know, and you guys are going to get married by the end of this and have a kid, so... <laughs> 
It would have been funny <laughs> if she gave her, like, oh, man, it's near savage season, even though that series is technically still younger than the show. But, um, the lessons that, you know, that show gave to so many people, especially, like, even me, even at my age and such, was still very enjoyable. You can even just see the way he's built. It's so different. About. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah, basically. You guys are kind of almost like Starcross lovers in a way, except you don't die. <laughs> It makes you wonder, like, Rokuro, are you okay with being a dad? Benny, oh, no, no, th no, no. Oh, God. Oh. At least he's feeling a lot better. What if the reason why there isn't no messages anyway is that, you know, they're looking at it themselves, that big, ad, the, like, the council and stuff. You know how, like, with any other freaking series where something big happens and it's like, okay, instead of telling the main characters of the show, we'll take the secondary characters and let them handle that business, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. That, yeah. They don't say it. Why only Rokuro, though? Ferris wheel. Oh, she's so pretty. That's the kid, ain't it? Oh. No. Oh, 
Oh, she's so cute. Maybe she's secretly OP and she just doesn't remember. She, I mean, because, like, the way it seems like with her, she's kind of, like, very similar to Yui from SAO. Yeah, I mean, hell, she could be a bad guy in disguise. That's so fucking cute. Her voice is familiar to me. You don't have a name. <laughs> Excuse me. She doesn't have a name. Sa. Yeah, that makes sense. Now the question is, who, who, who where is Sai gonna say? <laughs> of course. I mean, damn, you couldn't make a teeny tiny one first and then go big? Well, it seems like she can retain a lot of information as well. Because she has a big memory. <sighs> Yeah, maybe a way that you two can connect. (laughs) 
a really good delicacy. Honestly, yes. Like, damn. Oh, she's already asleep. Damn. But you just slept. Sleep. Damn, both of y'all? <sighs> yeah, that is their kid. That's a proud mommy moment. No! Stop! <laughs> Fucking adorable. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, damn. Okay, so here's my little prediction on it. Whatever the hell is going on, it has to do with Psy. Because there is no way in hell that you can introduce this cute, adorable new character into the series and not have anything, you know, go wrong. Um, whatever, that purple thing that showed up into the sky that came out like a freaking hollow, whatever. Opening it up, you know, the sky. It's like that, yeah, it, it has something to possibly do with her. We probably don't know what it is. It, it wouldn't surprise me if she maybe possibly became the big bag of this, you know, second half. Or this arc maybe but you know possibly at the same time Sai could just be this sweet adorable innocent character that possibly has no nothing's wrong with her she's just here to be here to be saved maybe she was lost and such and you know now she needs a family aka Benny O and Rokuto I mean because hell she's already calling excuse me um she's already calling Rokuto Papa and so something tells me, I think when the relationship gets a little bit better with Benio and Sai, she's going to call Benio Mama. And I think that's going to be the cutest thing. Even her seeing, like, the Ohage Man song, that was cute. And that was a cute little mommy moment for her. And now, officially, they're seeing because it, it, it's crazy. They were talking about kids and wanting to have a baby. And then, bam. Sai comes in out of nowhere and is like, hey, you know, I'm your kid. Even though she ain't say, I'm your kid. Okay, girl with pink hair, girl with pigtails. All right, I wonder who she is. Um, But she's like, you know, hey, probably not your kid. Even though it would be interesting if she is. Like, you know, they kind of do like a, a Sailor Moon thing where, you know, it's a, essentially, you know, Chibiusa is the daughter of Usagi and Mamoru. And then essentially so on, they have Chibichi. And then one other kid who essentially is canon to the series of Sailor Moon, but she's never truly been in the anime, and I kind of wish that they put her in there. But it seems like they're kind of really going that route. She has the same eye color as Rokuro, but she doesn't have the same hair color texture um, as him, nor Benio, and such. And so it makes you wonder, if this isn't their kid, where the hell did she come from? Who sent her? For what weird reason? Because she might be like freaking um, like Nell from Bleach where she possibly has no memory 
of her past life she had to possibly be sent here on her own mission and so whatever it is i'm guessing we're supposed to be finding out later on into how many of her episodes this arc is especially going to be wondering who the pink hair chick is and what she's going to want to do and i'm guessing she's probably going to come for sai it seems officially now everybody whoever our villain of the weeks are going to be for the next few episodes and such is going to be coming after her and so it's going to be a save the child mission probably every single week but honestly we ain't gonna know until we watch the next episode but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 22 okay episode 22 and three two one go <laughs> also the one thing I didn't say about like in 21 they don't fight as much and that's good not to say that like when couples fight it's not bad sometimes it's good at the same time and you need it and it's good that they're communicating more, and I love that. Oh. Are we possibly saying Psy is the reason of doing this? That's what it seems like. This is like some cells of work called black type ish. Mm. Damn, even the baby. So then what do you do? Come on, Grandma. We can't last five minutes without this bullshit. But she something tells me that not only if they follow that smoke, but if they also follow them, they'll be able to see who. And it has to be that girl with the pink hair. It has to be with that, that hole or something else. Mm. If not, oh my god, it's a shower. 
what else could it be? Oh, you poor thing. I mean, goddamn, guys, like, you, you want to save at least one from Ida? But see, okay, here's my thing. Why don't the rest of them tell them what they know? They know something else about, well, like, especially with these fucking dragon spots and shit. They're all figuring it out, but they don't want to say anything. Maybe that's Sai's true name. fuck is that? She's still trying to play with it. What's up, Sai? Sai, you can't go! Seriously? S so good. 
Are you fucking kidding me? But she's a child. She can't be. Damn, people looking like fucking zombies. The same Resident Evil. Damn, you really pushed her, fucker? Oh, she definitely like a Garu, um type character. Hell, she looks like fucking Junko, and I love that. Oh, and her hair is weapons. Oh, shit, let's go. Damn, that's a fucked up way to die, though. This is basically if Junko and Best Girl Ibuki from Dangan Ropa had a child, and it's her! Oh my god, stop it. I fucking love her. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact that she has time to do that. <laughs> So now the question is, how do you get rid of a dragon spot, though? Of course she would come out of the car first. That she's connected to it. She has to be. Yeah. 
Look at the way she's looking at it. It's like she knows how to get rid of it. Mm. So then maybe I'm wrong. But it seems like there's a connection between these two. So cold. Mm -hmm. And see, something's going to tell me that these dragon spots, they're going to be a problem. We're going to see them on multiple occasions in whatever arc we're in currently for this show. That's so. Of course. Someone is watching over Sai, right? That has to be Shigen, because, you know... Well, no, he's working just as much as the rest of them. Was it the chick with the pink hair? Yeah. Did a damn runway walk. Okay, Susie. Because I don't think there was only in hell that Suzu could do this. So, what if it's just, you know, mm hmm, Benio's brother again on his bullshit? Yeah, so of course it's going to be important. She's weird, but I like her. Excuse me. Now, see, I think if you guys would have started with that right there, you know, maybe Suzu and everybody else, everything would have been fine.
think I'm just gonna have to leave my what time is it almost almost 12 so I might as well just leave my computer on until tomorrow hmm? so what do you want to do See, but once again, if you just would have started with that ish, none of this would be happening right now. She's so fucking cute. I love her. I want to protect her. Exactly. So, of course, this arc is going to have on multiple occasions when dragon spots are going to open. <laughs> Excuse me. Like what? Okay, so yeah, uh, Suzu, Suzu is best girl. Sorry, not sorry, I'm just saying. Whoever she is voiced by, like, oh my god, I already love her so fucking much. But yeah, she gives me, like, a hella Junko Ibuki vibes from Danganronpa, and I love that because, of course, like, Junko is my number one best girl, and Ibuki, for, well, really for Danganronpa 2, Ibuki is, like, my second third i i love ibuki especially when you get the time to like learn about her and such but yeah like because she he, like honestly suzu gives me gotu vibes you know bad bitch and i love that because you know mm, bad bitch herself <laughs> she's adorable i mean like damn she killed dude like it was nobody's business she was just like eh, that's it you're dead goodbye mm. But I love her music and everything. But yeah, literally, she is like the embodiment of Junko Ibuki, and you can see it. But something tells me, yeah, we're going to see her possibly a lot more with whatever the hell is going on with this art. Um, Precious Baby Girl Sai. She has something else to do with this. Don't know what, but of course we're going to find out later on in this arc. But whatever it is, like, of course, as I said in the previous episode, because something tells me she lost her memories and she doesn't really remember anything. And there's going to be a time where she is going to have to remember. I just don't know when the hell it's going to happen. Oh, that was a cute Maida outfit. I want that outfit. This is why sometimes I can't watch anime, because... <laughs> Mostly, I'll be watching the damn show, and because see, this here's a one of the many things of why I love anime so much is that you watch any type of show, and there's an outfit that like guy, girl, whoever freaking wears, and it's like damn, like oh shit, I kind of want to change my style and my wardrobe and everything, cause like oh my god, any anime outfit that I see a chick wear in any type of show, I'm like oh my god, I want that, like mm. so yeah. <laughs> I did a lot with Ritter Girlfriend because, like, any time Chizuru came in and any outfit she was wearing, whether she was just her regular self or she was on girlfriend mode, she looked so freaking good. And I was just like, oh my god, chick, your style. Like, I want that. Like, I just wish 
you could get a stylist that would be like, I want you to watch this anime, this anime, and this anime. And watch the main characters of this character, this character, and this character, and look at their style, and give me that style, and then bam, there you go. <laughs> anime clothes. Because <laughs> as much as I love wearing, like, anime shirts and stuff, like, to represent, the, like, I'm, I'm a chick who watches anime and shit like that, you know, I want to, like, incorporate, you know, somewhat of their anime styles that I've seen and such and, like, outfits and shit like that. But, yeah, it, it does tell me that, yes, yeah, Saya is going to be a big, big impact on whatever the hell this arc is about to go into. Um... Of course, something also tells me is that the Twelve Guardians also knows some things that, of course, they're not always going to tell Rokuto and Benio and everyone else. So there's going to be a moment in time where something is going to tell me that Rokuto and Benio are going to go see the Twelve Guardians and what's his face again. They're going to be saying something. I'm going to be like, oh, we already know that. And then, you know, Rokuto's going to be like, how the fuck do you already know this shit? Oh, we've been looking about this crap since this episode or since the beginning. We just didn't tell you guys. And so, of course, it's going to make the distrust in them very off it's kind of like how when um in death note where light really wanted um the kid a task force to like kind of investigate l and have l investigate the police and such almost maybe where everyone's a little hesitant on trusting everyone because it feels like everyone's turning against each other maybe that might happen i'm not 100 percent sure but you know Whatever is going to happen, I honestly cannot wait to see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 21 and 22 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 23 and 24. Bye, guys.